Hi everybody, welcome back to part seven of Magic Cycle series, Behind the Magic. Today, we're going to talk about a few systems on your Magic Cycle e-bike. First being your gear shifting system, second, your brake system, and third, the integrated tail light. So, before starting the video, I would like to suggest to you that if you did not see our previous video of Behind the Magic series, please click on the i button now to learn more about your magic cycle. Let's get started. So your gear shifting system. Let's talk about your gear shifting system. For our gear function, we use the Shimano 7 gear shifting system. Shimano is world renowned, reputable, and a reliable manufacturer for bike components. You can really rely on Shimano to give you long durability and a high performance for your bike. Well, here is the Shimano 7 speed gear system. It is located on the right hand side of your handlebars of the Magic Cycle Cruiser. The Shimano 7 speed freewheel on our Magic Cycle allows you to change to a lower gear for uphill climbing and change to a higher gear for faster speed. It is paired with the pedal assist system so that you can easily adjust gears for the right amount of speed for your entire journey. So, Inside the Shimano gear system, there is an orange color piece that will indicate to you what your gear is currently set to from one to seven. The seven speed freewheel will allow you to shift to a smaller gear for riding uphill and then shift to a larger gear for higher speeds. However, for a pure electric mode, you don't need to worry about the seven speed gear system. Instead, you will simply be using your throttle and your brakes. Now, let's talk about those brakes. The braking system for electric vehicles are usually composed of two kinds, disc brakes and drum brakes. Now, drum brakes are a kind of old technology compared to that of disc brakes. Now, a drum brake is a brake that uses friction caused by a set of shoes or pads that press outwards against a rotating cylinder called the brake drum. Okay, guys, let's imagine that this glass bowl is the external casing of a drum brake. So when you push your brake, there is going to be an interior piece that's going to cause friction with this exterior part known as the brake drum. Now that is going to cause your bike to stop. Many times we need to take an immediate brake, but it can be quite tough getting instant braking from a drum brake. Now due to the braking, overheating is another problem you may experience with a drum brake. If it's gated overheating, then the braking system won't work properly, and this can cause accidents. Now, alternatively, in your Magic Cycle, we use a 180 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, both at the front and the rear wheels of your bike. Now, this type of mechanical disc brake provides ample amounts of stopping power, even in severe conditions. Our engineers have tested the Magic Cycle brakes in various environments, such as on roads, uphill, downhill, in the rain, and in dry conditions. and we can promise you that the Magic Cycle brakes will perform in any conditions that you encounter successfully. The tightness of the brake system can be simply adjusted. As I am demonstrating here, when the brakes are pressed down, if you give a little pressure on the brake bar, this is going to slow down your bike. It will not suddenly stop straight away. But if you pull the brake bars all the way back, you will get an immediate sudden stop that you might require in certain environments. So guys, as I am demonstrating here, if you slightly apply a little pressure to the brake lever, then you're going to slow down slightly. You will not stop straight away. However, if you pull the brake lever tightly, all the way closed, then you will get an immediate sudden stop that you may require in certain environments. So whilst riding at high speeds, we want you to keep note that under normal conditions, you're going to use your rear brake first. Though Magic Cycle's wheels are quite big, you will not roll over your front tire when using the front brake in a normal environment. 
However, if you're riding downhill fast or riding at high speed, there is always a possibility of this, that you might use your front brake fast and in those cases, please be careful and remember to effectively use the rear brake instead under those circumstances. So, to clarify, if you are riding really fast or riding downhill at speed, like in a street bike or on a mountain bike, and you press your front brake suddenly and forcefully, this could cause you to go over the front of your bike. So this is why you should either use both brakes or start by using your rear brake first and then applying your front brake. And while you are aware it's less of a situation with this fat tire bike that we have back here, you're still going to want to be cautious about this at particular speeds or on certain types of declines or conditions. So please be sure to use your rear brake fast and that will ensure that you will stay safe. If you ever do want to replace them after the brakes have been worn down, it's an easy process and our customer service team are here to guide you through it. So guys, let's talk about our integrated tail light. As part of our nine free gifts we include with every Magic Cycle, we've installed a headlight and a tail light. So once you are pressing down on your brake lever, a red light will appear at the back of your bike, warning other road users behind you of your intention to slow down or stop. Now, without the headlights being turned on your bike, you are not going to see a frequent red light coming from the back. The red light will appear when you are pressing down on the brake lever. So that's there for your safety, and if any other road users are behind you, they are going to know of your intention to stop. So let me show you. If we turn on the headlight here, you'll see that you'll be getting a light coming from your headlight, as well as a red light coming from your tail light. And these lights will remain on consistently as you are riding. So this is going to keep you safe. It is going to keep those behind you knowing of your intentions to stop or slow down, and it will help you ride through the dark, through the rain, through the fog, or any other harsh conditions you may encounter. You will also want to take note on how to protect these lights because they are made of plastic LEDs. So try to avoid any sort of collision that may cause damage. So you'll see that for the headlight here and for the tail light, this is made with plastic. So usually they are being protected by the protrude. So usually they are being protected by the protruding front and back tire tire guards. So it's not like you're going to bump into something that's going to cause them to break. But just be wary when you're transporting or using your bike not to damage the plastic parts of your headlight or your tail light. So with all of these different electrical components on your bike, such as your headlight, your tail light, motor, the battery, and your LCD display, you might be wondering, how do I clean this? Will this be an issue if I clean with a little soapy water? Well, the good news is it is completely acceptable. That is not going to affect the function of your bike at all. This is built to hold up against water for cleaning purposes. Now, having said that, you want to keep in mind that submerging any of your electrical components completely in water will impact the electrical systems. That is something you need to be aware of. Otherwise, you can clean down this bike as you would with any other electrical vehicle or bike. And that's all for the gear shifting system, the brake system, and the integrated tail lights. Okay guys, that's it for today. The introduction about MagiCycle's brake and gear shift system. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or contact us via our website linked in the description box. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will talk about MagiCycle's components, size, dimensions, and load capacity. So if you've enjoyed this video, please remember, like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any of our amazing content. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, ride free, ride fun.